Hi, I'm Anjana Vakil, an independent software developer and developer educator. In this course, we're gonna practice working with asynchronous JavaScript, writing code in functional and object-oriented styles, and using some of the many amazing browser APIs that give us access to some pretty cool capabilities from our client-side JavaScript code. I hope this course helps you take your JavaScript skills to the next level. Okay, so I wasn't very positioned in the, in the, um, in the frame. But I'm now, okay, all right, now I'm like looking right at the camera and we're now getting into another little issue that we have here. Any idea why I'm getting this very weird like corner of my forehead? Canvas size? The size of these two things is different. We didn't set any canvas size, uh, set any width or height on our element in the canvas. And the video has like some size that it is getting from the camera that's attached, right? So they may or may not line up. And so probably what we wanna do is make sure that we are, uh, that we are drawing the right size of things. And this is again where all those arguments to our draw functions come in. We can poke around, we can try a few different things. Like for example, we can do like video, uh, video width is a property that we should have. Let's just try logging it. Whoa, console.console, okay. Um, okay, um, and then on the canvas element, I believe we also have access to a width property, but let, we can check that in MDN. Also, it's a property, it's not a function. <laughs> Everything is a function until it's not a function. Okay, so let's, um, let's uh, just log these as we draw this misshapen photo. See what happens. Okay, so you see the canvas, I believe the default width for the canvas element, if you don't set one, is 300, and, uh, 300 pixels wide, whereas the video is 640 pixels wide. Uh, so that's not gonna happen. That's not gonna help us, right? Um, the other thing we could, we could, we can make sure that we're like drawing the width here, video um, dot video width, like if we want to make sure that we're drawing all 640 pixels, we can do that. And then we also match it with, there's a corresponding video height. But um, once again, if the canvas is too small, that ain't gonna happen. So we can scale down, like for example, we could do some multiplying of ratios to like, you know, scale down the ratio of the width to the height to whatever the width of the canvas is, et cetera, et cetera. But for now, in the interest of getting on with our lives, let us just set the width on our can on our on our canvas. I wonder. Let's see. Can we can we mess with it? Can this width equals video video width? I don't know. Will it work? Let's find out. Will it blend? Doesn't seem like it. Well, all right, no, it worked on the width. Yeah. At least now I have a whole forehead. <laughs> um, uh, sorry, was there a question? Okay, but I don't believe in our, oh yes, there is a height, let's do it. Let's set the height as well. Okay, canvas height equals video, video height. And now, I mean, we could use any, either of these properties now in our, in our draw image call. Moment of truth. Drum roll, please. Hey! <laughs> the most beautiful photo ever taken. Hey! Ooh! Ah! Okay. <laughs> okay. So now, uh, we get to have, hopefully, the satisfying experience of seeing all of these little robot lions that are the um, tiny quick win projects that we've been working on, the sort of mini projects, come together into one massive Voltron warrior robot. If anybody remembers this show from like the 80s. Anyways, um, the idea is that all of these little kind of arbitrary exercises that we've been doing are actually like things that we could, that we can build upon and we can build them all in to an app that takes advantage of all of those different things that we have done. So if we take our various quick wins and our now live selfie cam and the code that we needed to run to, to talk to the, 
user devices and everything. And a little bit of extra, you know, niceties, um, a little bit of extra UI stuff, but nothing, no, no really new concepts that we uh, haven't covered. Then we get Mimi. And I can has Mimi is something that you too can put over your face. All right, so um, there's a couple different links here. So they're, sorry, they're not very easy to read. But if you go to anjana.dev slash meme you will see my version of this little site, which if I, again, this is, this is all, we recognize this from our selfie cam. If I press allow, then all right, now I have some buttons. And when I click on the take selfie, I get a modal and it has a little preview here. This is one of the little extra bits of code, which we'll talk about. Um, somebody had a question earlier about how do we draw, do we need to draw a new photo for like every frame of the video stream? We don't need to, but it is useful if you wanna have a live preview of what your selfie might look like so that you can make sure you've got an amazing like, or maybe I wanna do the this meme. Um, and when I click that take photo, it's going to now write it to this canvas here. Now we're gonna look at the code base in a second, but for now we're just having fun. Then I can click this add text button, which, oh, guess what? Another modal. Did I have to rewrite the same code over and over again? No, because you all already implemented basically a modal component for me. So we can reuse that for all these different buttons. And I can add some text like, um, breaks the build and then takes a break. <laughs> I've already tried this out. <laughs> Cause uh, now it's not my problem. If the build is broken and I take a break, then uh, it's somebody else's problem, right? But maybe I'm like, oh, that's not really the appropriate meme format of the image now. I want a different selfie. I can actually go in and be like, I don't know, position myself like, <laughs> make an extra ridiculous one for my own and my friends, hopefully, and your enjoyment. And guess what? We also have a little settings button where we can change the theme and it even stays changed. And so this is essentially like, um, so we saw earlier, we didn't, we didn't really like draw this Mimi type text, but we drew that JS text. We saw how that worked. We know how to draw an image to the camera. We're gonna talk about that live preview in a second. But otherwise, all of this stuff with like one little extra thing to make sure that the text and the, um, the uh, <laughs> this is the stupidest photo, <laughs> the, um, the, the image don't like uh, kind of clobber each other. Like for example, if I wanna change the build, um, uh, you know, to, or change the text, sorry, to like, okay, like, I don't know, do as I say, not as I do, for example, it's gonna not, like, it, it, we're clearing out the canvas first so that we can then have a clean, and we're not just overwriting lots of different text. So we'll, we'll look at the code in a second, but essentially this is all stuff that we've already seen. With, a, with one very small exception, which is this live preview. And we'll talk about that. So if it ever felt during this marathon of wins that I've been calling quick, but actually might not be so quick, like we were just doing useless stuff that could never be actually relevant for a, you know, moderate, like more than one button site, for example. No, this is, do you have to build sites this way? No, do you, can you have a totally different modal class or maybe not a modal class at all? For sure. But all of those things that we've done, we can pull them all together into an actual little app.